Interpower Corporation, the premier supplier for power system components with one week manufacturing lead time and over 4 million parts in stock. Visit www.interpower.com for more information. Today on Engineering Newswire, we're test driving BMW's i3, setting ourselves on fire, and bringing Prime to life. Seriously, real world transformers. Researchers at the National Institute of Standards and Technology have created a uniform, multi-walled, carbon nanotube-based coating that reduces furniture foam flammability by 35%. Kind of works like a triple-decker club sandwich on a nanoscale. When the nanotube-created foam is exposed to extreme heat, a protective char layer forms, creating a barrier that also prevents the foam from melting and pooling, which often causes the fire to spread. You hear that? It's a collective sigh of arsonists everywhere. The technique squeezes nanotubes between two everyday polymers and stacks four of these tri-layers on top of each other. The result is a plastic-like coating that is thinner than one hundredth the diameter of a human hair. I'd, I'd pull one now, but I'm, I'm running out. All important information, particularly from a reporter whose house burnt down as a child. Yeah, got real. The brainchild of NIST materials scientists Yon Suk Kim and Rick Davis, the pair built the nanotubes with a technique used in cell culture to make DNA molecules stickier. I'm just happy they gave us a sample to play with. Advanced Tactics has developed a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that also features off road automobile capabilities. Almost! We can almost make a bumblebee. AT's patented technology is being incorporated into the AT Black Knight Transformer and the AT Panther Transformer, which are designed for autonomous casualty evacuation and manned or unmanned cargo resupply missions. They help keep pilots out of harm's way from mayhem like him. My BFF Becky Texan says she's kissed Johnny. Well, that's a problem because I like Johnny. The technology leverages the simplicity and robustness of a multi-copter at a full-scale size. According to Advanced Tactics, the AT Transformer uses engines with a direct drive connection to prop rotors. The propulsion system is made up of low-cost, commercially available parts, and the aircraft structure is made of modular field replaceable components. Like an electric multi-copter, the vehicle is stabilized and controlled by differential thrust between opposing sets of prop rotors. It also has the ability to perform controlled engine outflight in case of a critical component failure. So hopefully, we are one step closer to this. Yeah! Oh my God! I would so marry Prime. So do it. Is that weird? Hashtag robot nerd. Like Tesla and the Spark before it, BMW's electric SUV is a plug-in. And like most green cars, it looks like it got hit with the ugly stick. The i3 features BMW's new skateboard platform design, meaning the chassis is one self-contained unit and the passenger cabin is another. The life module, also known as the passenger cell, is constructed primarily of carbon fiber, while most of the chassis and battery framework are aluminum. Life module? Passenger cell? Let's leave the lexicon alone, guys. The 450 pound lithium ion battery holds 22 kilowatt hours of juice for a range of 80 to 100 miles per charge. The engine produces a max of 170 horsepower and 184 pound foot of torque which I was able to put to the test in Vegas at CES 2014, where I got lost, really lost. The vehicle shifter is in the steering wheel, but not like the old Buick shift handles of old. It loosely resembles a motorcycle grip with a push button for park. But what really threw me was the automatic braking. As soon as you let off the gas, this thing brakes for you. 
seems like a viable safety feature, but I like to go fast and coast, not cramp up while holding down the gas pedal. And don't get me started on my many, many short stops during the brief test drive. Mm, I stopped short. Stop short! Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in the next episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Megan Zimba and this has been your Engineering Newswire.